this procedure is to show how to do a verify calibration on the system four. Uh, the first step is to locate the shoulder input tube. Uh, it may be configured as a internal external rotation. This is the configuration it is in right now. Or it may be configured as a shoulder extended, extension flexion. So it may be attached to that as well. I'm going to disassemble this so we can get just to the shoulder input tube. This is the correct shoulder input tube that we're going to be using. You're going to be attaching this to the shaft, lining up the dot on the dynamometer. On the software, we're going to be clicking on File, Verify Calibration. The first step is to attach the, the shoulder attachment to the dynamometer, which I have just done. Uh, there should be no hand grips. And then from that point, you're going to click on Range of Motion Set, which is right here. Uh, choose the correct side. I'm going to be using the right side. I'm going to clear limits. I'm going to hang the attachment vertically. And I'm going to click on toward. And I'm going to raise it up, looking at the angle in the lower right hand corner until I read 90 degrees. And I'm going to click on away. going to drop it down vertically. I'm going to calibrate position. And then you can click on continue. At this point, we're going to raise the attachment up. You're going to click the mode setup for isometric, as in the directions. We're looking for 90, 90 degrees on the current range of motion right here. Once that is set to 90 degrees, you're going to click on start. That will lock the attachment in position. At this point, we're going to take the calibration weight. There's a, a button for in the, uh, and there's a hole on the attachment that we want to uh, match up. that you can hear it click into position, lock it down. And that should hold in that position. At this point, you're going to type in your initials for the calibration and click on verify calibration. If, it, if everything's okay, you should read 50 foot pounds and the result should show valid. That's it. Before clicking on stop, because if we click on stop, the arm will drop. You want to remove the calibration weight for safety reasons. Place that back onto the cart. Then click on stop. concludes the calibration. <laughs>